Difference between distance and displacement. Distance, displacement. First point, distance is denoted by D. And displacement is denoted by S. Next definition. Then consider an example. Suppose man lives at place A. And he has to reach another place C. But in between he has to meet his friend living at place B. So, the man starts his journey at point A. That is initial point or starting point at A. So, with respect to the starting point, we will explain distance and displacement. So, initial point is at A and ends at point C. That is final point at C. Now, what is the distance travelled? As per the definition, distance travelled by a body is the actual length of the path covered by a moving body. So, here what is the actual length of the path covered by the body? He starts his journey at point A and then reached at point B and then from B to C. Right? So, actual path is A to B and from B to C. So, the distance travel will be the length of AB plus BC. Uh, irrespective of the direction in which the body moves. Distance does not depend on direction. Displacement means displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final point. Here initial point A and final point C. Now shortest distance. What will be the shortest distance between any two point? Consider any two points. All the time straight line distance will be the shortest distance. Other all distance will be greater than the length will be greater than this straight line distance isn't it now so always straight line distance is the shortest so so displacement is the shortest or straight line distance between initial initial and final point here initial point a and final point c so displacement is length of ac direction matters in displacement okay that is displacement depends on direction for finding the direction mark the directions at starting point so, with respect to the starting point, final point is in between south and east, right? So, final point is towards south is direction. So, AC, displacement is AC towards southeast. That is, displacement depends on direction. Next point is path dependence. Distance and displacement, which one depends on path? Distance depends on path, that is distance is the actual path covered by the body. So, distance depends on path, displacement depends only on the initial and final point. So, it does not depends on path. Distance depends on path and displacement does not depends on path. And displacement depends on direction, right? So, next point, direction consideration. To calculate distance, direction is not considered. Because distance depends only on the actual length of the path, not the direction. Displacement. To calculate displacement, the direction is taken into consideration. That is, displacement will be always the magnitude, the length and direction. So, the next point about the quantity. Which type of quantity is distance? Distance is scalar quantity because it depends only on magnitude and not the direction. And displacement is vector quantity. It depends on both magnitude and direction. Type of information received. So, by combining all this point, we can say that Distance gives us a complete information about path travelled by the body, right? how much length the body covers. D displacement does not give the complete information about the path travelled by the body. Right? It gives only the distance between initial and final point and about the direction of the final point with respect to the initial point. Right? So, that is the next point. Next formula, distance equal to speed into time, displacement is equal to velocity into time. Eighth point, possible values. As we already explained, distance does not depend on direction. It depends only on the length, actual length, that is its magnitude, right? So, distance can only have positive values and zero only when the body is at rest. When the body is not moving, the distance will be zero. In all other all cases, distance can have only positive values. Now, displacement of a body, it depends on direction. So, based on the direction, displacement of a body can be positive, zero and negative. Explanation. Okay. Both distance and displacement requires a reference point, right? With respect to reference point, that is starting point, we are measuring, right? Okay. So, consider a point A, starting point or initial point. If the body is moving in the forward direction, the body now reached at point B and length is, that is AB is X meter, then the displacement will be 
plus x meter. This, this plus sign indicate that the body is moving in the forward direction or towards right side. Now with respect to the starting point, if the body is moving towards left side and AC is x meter, then the displacement will be minus x meter based on the direction because this negative sign indicate that the body is moving in backward direction or towards left side. And if the body returns back to its initial position, that is first it starts its journey at point A and reached at B and then return back to its initial position. That is it reached at point A and now initial point and final point C, the displacement will be zero. If the body is at point A, the displacement will be zero. That is at point A, there is no straight line distance between initial and final point. So the displacement will be zero or if the body is not moving, in that case also the displacement will be zero. In both the cases, the displacement will be zero. So that the displacement can be positive, zero and negative depending upon its direction. What about distance? Starting point A and if the body moves towards B, then what will be the distance traveled? Length of AB is x meter. So the distance travel will be x meter. Starting from A, if the body moves towards C, length AC is x, x meter. So the distance travel will be x meter. Sign is meaningless in distance. This not depends on direction. It depends only on the actual length, how much length it covered. And the distance can be zero only when the body is at rest. That is when the body is not moving, then the distance travel will be zero. And if the body is returning to the initial position, then what will be the distance, distance traveled? That is starting from A, the body reached at B and then returned back to its initial position A. So its path followed will be first A to B and then B to A, right? The, so the distance will be length of AB plus length of BA. That is X plus X cannot be zero. Placement will be zero in that case. Next point, increase or decrease with time. Distance does not decrease with time. Displacement can decrease or increase with time. Explanation As we already explained, distance is a positive scalar quantity and it is therefore always additive in nature. For example, with respect to a starting point, when the body is moving towards right and it reached at point B, the body is moving in forward direction and the body reached at point B and length of AB is x meter. Once it reached at point B, it returned back to its original position. And now it reached at point C. So here the path followed is first A to B, then B to C. So the distance travel will be AB plus BC. Now what about the displacement? Displacement is not path dependence, right? Displacement depends only on its initial and final point. When the body reached at point C, its final point is at C and initial point at A. And as per definition, displacement is the straight line distance between initial and final point. So, when the body reached at point C, its displacement is length of AC. So, when a body is moving towards its initial point, then it indicates decrease in displacement with time because body is moving back to its initial position. So, displacement can decrease with time. Distance travel does not decrease with time. Last point greater or lesser distance is never less than the displacement value in some cases distance and displacement can be equal and displacement is either equal to or always less than distance as we already explained displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final point it does not depends on path so the value will be always less than the total distance traveled okay and distance and displacement can be equal if the body is moving in straight line Okay, that is if the body is moving in straight line and if it is not returning back, th then the distance travel will be AB and also and displacement also will be AB. That is the straight line distance between initial and final point. So, in those cases, distance and displacement can be equal. In other all cases, the value of displacement will be always less than distance.